So the Irish Stayers Handicap Chase is next then. This is a four and a quarter mile nought to one sixty handicap on the top on his stay all day. For C. Beckwith, nearly done that for Derek Hinton. Don Quixote, Leon Van Rensburg, the Banisher Man, Alex Cherry. Not now, never, James Shea. Ingerbird, Darren Thompson. Argus Sackart, David Robertson. Furzen Hill, John Morgan. Lentor Fox, Graham Clutterbuck. Simple Dutch, Paul O'Neill. Sunday Mott for T. Rogers. Bolshoi Bling for David Robertson. Gross Buku, Paul Rhodes. Bogus Penny, Martin Liam. Southern Spectrum, Alex Cherry. Exceeding the Stars, Derek Hinton. And Bright Sparky for Martin Liam as well. They're away and racing. The rain is coming down, it's four and a quarter miles. This is going to be a stiff test of stamina, and they've all got over the first of the 24. And you know, some of these will be national bound and Moore's Millions bound and all that sort of stuff throughout the season. A lot of these horses, oh, he's gone, the leader's gone there. Stay all day, didn't stay very long at all, did he? He stayed till the second fence, and that was it. Oh, top weight out, and the rest of them are really tightly grouped. Most of the races this week we've seen something go off, lickety split in the lead. This time nothing seems to want to do that, which might be pretty sensible in this weather over this distance. And they're all safely over that one. This is the fourth, these three coming up really close together of course. It's the fifth. And there we go, all safely over the three railway type fences and simple Dutch is the leader then the great. Or my second great Argus Sackart in second. Sunday Mott right over on the far side is up in that leading group as well, along with Furzen Hill in the familiar pale blue jacket of John Morgan. Bogus Penny is also close up, then Not Now Never and Southern Spectrum and Inga Bird in Line Tall Fox. After that one, looking towards about Bright Sparky is just the back marker, along with Bolshoi and Blink. There's an awful long way to go, and Furzen Hill. Take it up so eventually the John Morgan horse does get into the lead. We do see that a lot in these long distance races. And there's something gone there. One of Alex Cherries has gone Southern Spectrum. He's out. Crashed through the fence and departs the race at this relatively early stage. Simple Dutch and Furs and Hill are disputing the lead. Argus Sackart is in third. Sunday Mount is fourth. And then Bogus Penny is fifth as they come to this ditch. All over that one with. Bright Sparky, just not being all that bright and sparky at the moment at the back. Over the eighth they go, in front of the stand, and down on its nose there was the Derek Hinton horse. One of two he's got in this race. That one was exceeding the stars. Uh, a big shout out to Derek, who's not been very well at all. Rushed into hospital the other night with uh, some pretty serious problem. He's had a big operation and apparently he's doing okay. So, everybody. Wish Derek the best, and I'm sure you'll be back on your feet and cheering your horses and making posts in the forum that make very little sense to most people until you explain them the next day. But it's simple Dutch in the lead from Furzen Hill second, and Argus Sackart is third, and then Sunday Morton Bogus Penny. Not now, never is after that one, and then Don Quixote, the Bansher Man next. Simple Dutch is a good neck in front of Furzen Hill. And Argus Sackart is third, Sunday Mott fourth. And Not Now Never, Bogus Penny in the purple. With Gross Baku in the green cap and white jacket, which on the odds outside. But they're still fairly tightly grouped. Like we've seen in most of these races this week where they've been strung out. But this one there, pretty good racing formation at the moment. And Simple Dutch is half a length. So they're good over Furs and Hill. They're about three lengths clear of the rest. They're headed by Sunday Mott. And Argus Sackart, Bogus Penny and Don Quixote. He's not known ever. Dimension Man, Nelly done that. All pretty close up. I'm sure Bling's made a forward move in the back as well. And Bright Sparky has gone past exceeding the stars. As they come to the ninth. And all up and over that one, okay. And now Furs and Hill has got an undisputed lead. Of about two and a half lengths, two to two and a half lengths at this ditch. Uh, took a little look round before we took that fence. I think it's a little bit premature of a look see where everybody else is. We're still an awful long way to go. But Frozen Hill is in the lead from Simple Dutch second. Don Quixote is moving up in third. Bogus Penny covering that one's every move in fourth. Then Sunday Mott in the green on the inside, jumped that one a little bit slowly but safely enough. 
Oh, Sparky's gone past a couple now as Inga Bird becomes the bat marker over these railway type fences. stream with Furs and Hill and Simple Dutch from Don Quixote to Debancher Man's moved up on the outside in the fourth and Bogus Penny Bolshaw Blinger is never closer then Sunday Mott has just dropped back a little bit Nelly done that not now nearer than the line tall Fox and Argus Sackart and Gross Baku and Bright Sparky exceeding their stars and finally Inga Bird it's an interesting looking race at the moment then with two miles to go he wouldn't rule anything out but still got a jockey on its back at the moment Furs and Hill over that one in the lead from the grey simple Dutch in second and come back up to join him on his outside gap of two to Sunday Mott who's back into third then Don Quixote and Nelly done that bogus penny just dropped back a little bit but it's still Furs and Hill they come to this ditch. Over it they go. Slow jump there by Bolshoi with Blink. Argus Sakar has also dropped towards the back. Bright Sparky's last again. This will be the last next time round. And they're all over it okay. There's an untidy jump by Debansha Man. Yeah, uphill past the winning post then. There's one more circuit to go of Garen Park. And it's Furs and Hill in the lead. From Simple Dutch in second, Sunday Mott is third, then Don Quixote is four, and the lead on that is five. The Bunch of Man is six, and Bolshaw Bling is seven. Then Bogus Penny exceeding the stars, making a move. Then Argus Sackart and Inca Bird. Then the line tall Fox and Not Now Never, Bright Sparky, and finally Gross Buku is the back marker. Probably no more than 20 lengths off the lead. Furs and Hill has that lead by about half a length. The Simple Dutch second, Sunday Mott back in third. And Don Quixote and Debancha Man and Bolshoi Bling and Nelly done that. The one that's really creeping through is exceeding the stars. Bogus Penny's lost its place a bit. Argos Sackart, Inga Bird next. Bright Sparky still last. Furs and Hill racing uphill with a lead of a couple of lengths to Simple Dutch and Sunday Mott. These three are ahead of the pack. They were headed by Debancha Man. Bolshaw Bling, the two Hollywood Hinton horses running almost in tandem, but it's Furs and Hill continues to show the way home to Simple Dutch in second. Sunday Mott in third, the Bancher Man now being driven up in fourth. Bolshaw Bling in fifth, going well. Don Quixote still there, then exceeding the stars, and then he done that. Then Inga Bird, not now, never long tall fox. Bogus Penny looks beaten, that was dropping out of it. Gross Baku and Bright Sparky have never really been in it. They take the 17th. Oh, one mistake there by the grey simple Dutch. I've seen that one drop back to fourth. And it's Furs and Hill in the lead. Furs and Hill leads into this ditch. This is the 18th. Better jump by the grey that time. And all over it safely, Gross Baku was very slow at the back. But it's Furs and Hill still from Simple Dutch Sunday March. Then the Bancher Man, then Bolshoi Bling, Nelly done that, Don Quixote and exceeding the stars. And then Line Tall Fox and Inga Bird, Bogus Penny trying to get back into it again, then not now never as they take the 19th. And all over that one, O'Carl would say there's only really gross Buku and Bright Sparky out of it as they take the 20th. And they're all over that one okay as well. And now Light Hall Fox has taken it up. Light Hall Fox from exceeding the stars. Furs and Hill on the inside comes under pressure. Then Debancha Man and Sunday Mop nearly done that. Ninga Bird. The race is on in earnest now. They've got four and a half furlongs to go. And it's exceeding the stars that takes it up. Exceeding the stars from Light Hall Fox, Debancha Man and Ninga Bird. Then nearly done that. Furs and Hill. Sunday Mop has just lost his place a little bit. But it's exceeding the stars. Well, Light Hall Fox in second. Then Ninga Bird. Bolshoi Bling. Furs and Hill is now looking a little bit wild. Pace then nearly done that Sunday Mott the Bancher Man. The Greys dropped out of it as well, but it's exceeding the stars. It goes a length clear. Exceeding the stars then racing down towards the next. This is the third from home. Exceeding the stars gets over it. Light or Fox is second. Bolshoi Bling is third. Sunday Mott is still there. Then Inga Bird and Nelly done that. Exceeding the stars comes towards the second last. This is the final ditch. It's exceeding the stars. And he's now two or three lengths clear. 
of Lion Tall Fox, Furs and Hills trying to run again, then Bolshoi and Bling, they come down to this one now, it's the final ditch, it's the second last, over he goes the leader, and all over it, okay, it's exceeding the stars, being chased by Lion Tall Fox, Bolshoi, Bling and Furs and Hills is the final fence, exceeding the stars, lands in the lead, a stay by Furs and Hills, exceeding the stars, this is going to be one for Hollywood, this is the best tonic he could possibly get from his hospital bed, it's exceeding the stars in the lead, Furs and Hills closing, but exceeding the stars, he's just going to hang on and take it, Furs and Hills is second, and Lion Tall Fox is Sunday, more after that one, and Bolshoi Bling, and the field trails back to Gross Baku, bright sparky on the fellow pulled up towards the end, but Derek Hollywood Hinton, hopefully cheering on from his sick bed, will be better and will be back, and exceeding the stars, he's good at these long distance races, and takes it from Furzen Hill, who ran on nicely again and maybe would have won if he hadn't made that mistake at the last exceeding the stars takes it for Derek Hinton first and Hill second for John Morgan who probably won't mind too much as his good mate Derek's beating him Bolshoi Bling third for David Robertson and Lintor Fox for Graham Clutterbuck fourth and Sunday Mott for T Rogers was fifth